Good morning guys and welcome to Vlogmas Day 20. I can't believe Christmas is this week, like that is insane. So as you guys can see, I'm in the car, I'm joined with Phil. We're actually on our way to church at the moment. So church starts at 10 and it's like quarter to 10 now, so we'll make it fine. We're back at the school hall today. It's the Christmas service today, so I'm quite excited for that. Um, I don't know if they'll just go through the story of Jesus or if they'll do something else, I'm not sure. I guess I'll see you guys when we get there. Okay guys, so we've just got back from church. The Christmas service was really good. We just went through Luke chapter 2. Again, I've mentioned before, but um, in case this is the first uh, video that you're watching from me, my church does have a YouTube channel, so I can leave the um, channel link um, down below because the Christmas service will um, be uploaded on there. So if you do want to know what um, sermon we heard, then... It's on there. I didn't film too much at church. I did film the little um, lunch thing that we had afterwards, which was really, really cute. But yeah, obviously, we're home now. I thought I would show you guys my outfit quickly because I didn't have time to show you guys before I left. So, my little two-piece here. I really love it. It's really cute. Um, it's just a top and shorts. The top is like a little bit loose here, but like, and on the sleeves, but like I've just fastened it down with some fashion tape. My little like silvery moon necklace is from my grandma. These little like circle drop earrings are from Levisa. And I don't know if you guys can even see. I don't know if it's in focus, but that little pearl clip there is from Boohoo as well. And then my wedges are from the warehouse. So yeah, that's my little fit. It's quite a hot day again today. Like it's a beautiful day outside. So I just wanted something that's like quite nice and cool. So the flat is a mess. So now the plan is to clean everything up. I'll show you guys the aftermath of the engagement party because there is just mess everywhere. So this this is our bench. <laughs> we still are going to open some of the presents. We have two New World bags down there, a couple presents on there, some bags down here. So yeah, we need to get through and sort all of this and put everything away. And um, we didn't have too many leftovers, which was quite nice. Like there was a few, but not as many as I kind of expected. Also, I did just want to say as well, um, just a massive thank you to everybody who did get us gifts. We weren't expecting to receive much at all. So big thank you to everybody who did um, give us something. Oh, there's one more on the bench actually that I need to move down to. Thank you. And I'm sure whatever's in these, we will be able to use. So these were some of the things that we got. This is my favorite wine of all time, so I'm excited for this one. This is great. We don't have one of these. We don't know who gave us this because it had the card, but it didn't say in the card who it was from. So if this was you, can you please write it down in the comments? I'm excited for this too. We can use that at our wedding. I am so excited for these. Monique got these engraved. I don't know if it's going to show up. Like, how cool is that? If you do want to get anything engraved this is the company that she used so that's their facebook and their instagram but i just think that's so sick but yeah big thank you to everybody a lot of this stuff will come in handy so i'm excited okay so phil and i have just been sitting here and marking all of the um how well do you know us quiz i don't think hannah actually got any of the quiz in the vlog. I have all of our questions on here. So we had 25 questions. We had no one who got under 10 and no one who got over 20. So it was out of 25. So we had one, two, three, four groups of people that got 10 out of 25. We had um, two groups of people that got 12 out of 25. We got two groups of people that got 13 out of 25. We had three groups of people that got 15 out of 25, one who got 16 out of 25, and three who got 17 out of 25. So that's pretty good. Um, I can read you guys the questions because I realized I never even showed you guys. Question one was how did we meet? Question two was how long were we together before we got engaged? Question number three was where did we have dinner for our first Valentine's? Question number four was who was older? Question five is who said I love you first? Six, um, where did Phil propose? Seven, what beach should we go to the first day we hung out? And 
number eight, where did we go for dinner the night we got engaged? Number nine, what Christmas colour theme did we do the second year we were together? Number ten, where did we go in our first holiday together? Question eleven, where was our first photo together taken? Question twelve, what baking did we always have in our first flat together? Thirteen, how many siblings do we both have combined? That was a trick question because Phil's an only child. Question fourteen, where did we go on our first date? Question 15, how old were we when we met? 16, what do we watch more, Netflix or Disney Plus? 17, what year of my apprenticeship was Phil my model for competitions? Um, question 18 was a multi-choice. Um, so we only had two multi-choice questions in there just to kind of switch it up. So some we had that were 50-50 with like either being me or Phil, couple multi-choice and then a couple of just like other questions. Question 18 was what is the one food we both don't like out of the following? A was marshmallows, B is carrot cake, C is strawberries, or D is candy floss. Question 19 was, oh, where did we go when we first went on a double date? Question 20, who gets their hair done more? Question 21, who was on their phone more? Question 22 was our last multi-choice question. Where was Phil working when I accidentally got locked inside the flat and couldn't pick him up? Was it A, a farm, B, a pack house, C, a restaurant, or D, a hotel? Question 23, what supermarket do we buy our groceries from? Question 24, who was more productive during lockdown? And then the last question so question 25 was what cereal do we both eat when we're having cereal for breakfast so yeah we're about to announce the winners in the um little facebook group so we've gone through and double checked all the papers with these papers i'm pretty happy i think it was very successful and it was a lot of fun so it is quite a bit later now it is almost five o'clock i put a load of washing on i also had a sleep i fell asleep earlier and i'm still like really tired to be honest but i thought i'd do my advent calendar with you guys because i literally haven't done this in days so I have like four to open three to open I think so I've got from day 17 to open so 17 ho 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 so we have a little father Christmas 18 is up here who ate all the mince pies that one is another little elf day 19 how excited are you now still doesn't feel like Christmas <laughs> to be honest this year has just gone by so quickly a little snowman day 20 is literally right underneath my battery is also flashing at me done before it goes. Can you draw Santa? Yes, I actually can. That will be another Santa as well, probably. Yep, it is. So I think the plan now is I'm just going to try and edit. I'm just really tired, um, but I am quite behind in Vlogmas now just because I've been so stressed about organizing the engagement party. We've got so much stuff on the bench still because our fridge is literally full. Like we cannot fit any more in our fridge and our pantry is quite full too. I've got trays that I still need to take back to work because my boss did a lot of the catering for us and I've got like all the party decorations like still like still on the bench. I kind of want to get a container to put all these things in like I need to clean off these as well Yeah, we've got other party stuff up in the top of the pantry But it's in this little box thing and I kind of just want to go through it and see what's in it and see if I actually want to Keep anything that's in there. We'll see how much I can get done I am thinking of going to see Christmas lights tonight, but Phil is at work at the moment So I have to wait for him to come home um, to go with me. That's kind of all I got planned for now I didn't really want to plan anything today because I knew that I'd probably be quite tired after the party So it is a lot later now it is like nine o'clock um i changed my top because i was getting too hot in my other top so i took the washing off the line and i've done two loads of towels so they're all hanging out on the line and i'm just about to put another load in I finished editing vlogmas day 14 and i went to save it and i pay for my editing program so there's like four different amounts you can pay so that you don't have the watermark on your video and a couple months ago it came up with that and i knew my subscription was due to end so i bought the lifetime plan which i think it cost me about 140 new zealand dollars so i paid for that thinking i'd never have to pay for it again because it's like a 
a lifetime plan and then I went to save vlogmas 14 just before and it's come up with the same screen telling me that I need to pay and I don't know how to check that I'm logged in and stuff so I looked up the number to call them but it's a Monday to Friday number like call time so I need to call them tomorrow and figure out what is going on because I literally paid a hundred and forty dollars pretty annoyed to be honest um because I just wanted to get my video all saved and ready to upload tomorrow but oh it just frustrates me no vlogmas video going up tonight so as you guys can see we've jumped in the car Phil is home from work Phil fixed my editing program it turns out that it had somehow logged me out of my own account so when I went to save it it was treating me as if like I was just someone using the editing program for the first time don't know how that happened but anyways got logged back in and I'm saving it now um, but we thought we'd go out and look at um, some Christmas lights I think it was last year I did a collab with Madison Page and I watched one of her videos and she went to this guy's house that had all these like Christmas lights set up and she's local to me and I'd never even heard of this house and some of my workmates have gone this year and they've given me the address and they said it's really good so we thought we'd go and check it out um, it is almost like 20 past 10 so we're kind of hoping that it's still like you can still go around and have a look and stuff I don't really know what to expect all I know is that it's really good yeah I'm excited are you excited Phil yeah yeah apart from with Monique and vlogmas day 12 I think it was vlogmas day 12 we haven't looked at any Christmas lights yet and Christmas is on Friday so we're a bit late this year but that's all right that is insane already oh can you park oh I was gonna say can you park in front of the other car so I can get a good shot holy that is insane oh yeah I was gonna say these other people going guys we're here hundred percent they would win it I need a shot for my thumbnail hold on that is insane. That is crazy. Yeah, Alison would like those. Oh, it's got Mickey and Minnie Mouse. This is so magical. North Pole, oh my gosh, I love that. That is the perfect photo opportunity. I love that they literally have a photo opportunity in their backyard. So it is a lot later now. It is quarter to 12. We just ended up going to the one house with the Christmas lights. It was really good, eh, Phil? Yeah, it was pretty sick. Literally felt like you were walking through like a Christmas wonderland. Like it was amazing. It was free entry as well. And then we got petrol and then came back home and I finished watching my video. We took the bin out, took the recycling out. We didn't like necessarily clean up the flat, but I cleaned off all the chalkboards and I went through the um, party box that was in the top of our pantry and I've just put it all in a new old bag because like I said earlier I really want to buy a container but I thought I would join this day so day 20 and day 21 together just because I don't really think I got a lot of footage today and I've got work tomorrow and then a nail appointment so I'm not going to be able to film a lot hopefully you guys won't mind that I've joined quite a few of them together I'll catch you guys tomorrow which will be the next clip that you watch after this one
Good morning guys and welcome to Vlogmas day 21. I'm in my car again which means I'm off to work. I thought I'd wear a dress this morning. I have a shift today from 8 till 2.30 which is actually quite nice that I have an earlier finish um because it means i can get a little bit more done today i do have my nail appointment at 4 15 and i do need to stop by hannah's and drop off her shoes because she left them at the church when we we're setting up for our engagement party i do need to drop all the catering plates and stuff back to work i don't know how many of these vlogs are actually going to be able to go up before christmas but i'll do my best and i'll probably do some editing on christmas because i usually have a little bit of Free time on Christmas. It's like really 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 cloudy. Like there's like blue skies under the cloud but it's just full cloud. It is sunning up a little bit but we are meant to get some rain this week as well. So yeah work is usually quite quiet on Mondays so I'm not really too sure how it's gonna go and with it being Christmas week as well I feel like we just won't get a lot of people this week until either like Christmas Eve or Boxing Day but I'm only working up until Thursday this week so I'm only working until Christmas Eve and then I've got the next three days off so that'll be nice i'm excited to have like a three-day weekend i'm gonna drive to work and stop rambling and yeah i'll catch you guys after work hey guys so slight change of plans um my boss just texted me and asked if i was still at home turns out somebody's called in sick today and can't do who was on the later shift so my shift has got moved from nine till four so that'll work better with my nail appointment because it means i'm going to save the gas so yeah i'm just going to go back inside make my thumbnail and try and get my vlog uploaded before i have to go it's quarter to eight now and i need to leave at 8 30 so hopefully i can get it all done but that'll be one less thing i have to do this afternoon so i'm gonna go inside phil's probably gonna be very confused on why i'm back but um i'm gonna get my work done and then i'll probably catch you guys once i've come out of work hey guys so it is a lot later now it is almost quarter to four so my nail appointment is at quarter past four so i'm actually a little bit early for once in my life which is actually quite nice so i finished up at work i worked nine till four we started off like quite steady throughout the day and then the afternoon just got quieter and quieter and quieter until about quarter to four when we went to finish and then like everybody came in wanting drinks and food so that's usually the way it goes. I've just driven to my nails place at the moment. So this is the before of them. I don't know if it's going to focus but they're just like really long and like uneven and the polish is chipped. I just really need to get them done. This is also my last appointment obviously before Christmas so I'm going to be eating Christmas nails which I'm excited about. So I go to a lady who does it at her house so I can kind of show you guys because I know a few of you guys are new to the channel. So this is the little place here. Um, it's called Beauty in the Bay. I am probably going to head in because it is about quarter past four. Once I'm out, I'll show you guys my nails and I'll tell you the plans because I have a few plans or a few like errands that I need to run. Let's go and get these bad boys done because they are disgusting. Hey okay guys, so I just got out of my nails. So this is the after. They look so much better and we've gone for a red and a gold, obviously for Christmas. So my plans now, first things first, I need to make a call because I've missed a call all day. Second, I need to go to Hannah's house to drop off her shoes. She also has my engagement present because she forgot to give that to me at the party. I've messaged most people who got us gifts, but there are still a couple others that I need to message so yeah i'm gonna crank the ac and then i'll catch you guys when i'm kind of doing something so i don't even know if you can tell by the background or not um but i have driven i'm currently just parked outside my parents place i made the call that i needed to make i was gonna go to hannah's before i stopped here but she's not home so i'll go to hers after i've been to mum and dad's i'm just at mum and dad's just to put all my like special um decorations on their tree this year Let's see if i can film the tree and i don't know how i'm supposed to get in because they literally have the sprinkler right in front of their front door so my sister i think is also here um, she came up 
for my engagement party and she's here for Christmas as well so I'm gonna text my sister and try and somehow get into the house without getting wet As you can see, I am back home now. I ended up filming mum's little Christmassy setup. I love her tree. Her tree looks really cool. Also picked up the tablecloths that we used at the engagement party. These actually belong to church. Um, mum just took them and washed them. So we need to take these back tomorrow. Dropped off Hannah's shoes. Picked up Hannah's present that she gave us for our engagement. But when I got that present, I realized that I didn't even show you guys the presents that I received from the customers at work. So one of our regular customers, she comes in pretty much every weekday. Last year, she got everybody Mecca glosses. And this year, she selected a few of us and got us a few little goodies. The first thing that she got us was this OXX Cosmetics little lip cream. It's just like a pinky shade. I think it's a doe foot applicator. Hannah used hers at the party. Yeah, kind of like a doe foot applicator thing. We all got a shade of the OXX Cosmetics nail polish. Mine is like this really cute like pastel yellow. I don't know if it's gonna want to focus or not. Oh, there you go. And then she also got us each one of these MIDI. It just says elegant perfume in this little bottle. It just looks like this. So I just think it's really cute. So I'm just going to put that aside and just wait for my other perfume to run out. And then the last presents was food presents. So um, one of our customers, again, she comes in pretty much every weekday, I think. She did everybody, I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but it's like lolly slice um little chocolate what's it called um chocolate chip cookies and then she also brought in some lindors so i got a couple of those so phil is also home he's over here he's just getting dinner ready phil bought food home as well from his staff meeting sausage rolls which i think i'm about to heat one up now and have some because i'm hungry some brownie and i think i'm just gonna eat it for the rest of the evening i want to try and pump out a few more vlogmas videos before vlogmas actually ends oh you're gonna do the advent calendars mm -hmm. we have so many scones mm -hmm. what are we gonna do with all these scones be so what are we today mm -hmm. actually i don't know if i've done this the last couple days no, 21 is up here i really hope i don't ding my nail have a magical christmas thank you i will what do we got today, guys? Have a little Grinch. So we just opened Hannah's present as well. And it's a little, like, cactus cheese board set. Which I think is so cute. We can definitely get use out of this. So, thank you, Hannah. So it is a lot later now. It is, like, 20 past 11. I finished editing all the footage I got from Vlogmas Day 15. I'm probably, like, a third of the way through Vlogmas Day 16. But I'm really enjoying it. Um, editing the vlog so far because it's like the first vlog and like the lead up of vlogs to my engagement party but I'm gonna call it for the night just because I'm quite tired and again I have work tomorrow so I don't want to be pulling all these late nights very close to Christmas. Um, Phil and I are about to go to sleep but before we go to sleep we're gonna try and figure out where we want to go for dinner on New Year's Eve. So if you guys don't know our like big yearly anniversary falls on New Year's Eve so this coming New Year's Eve will have been together for three years and one year being engaged which I think is really cool so we've got a couple places in mind we're just gonna have a look at the menus um because I'll need to book tomorrow because New Year's Eve is coming very quickly and last year we only just managed to get dinner at Lone Star because everywhere seemed to be booked out so we want to get in early this year a lot of the time like I think people get confused because we usually celebrate on the first of every month that's purely because not every month has a 31st but obviously like our yearly anniversary there's gonna be a 31st i really hope you guys have enjoyed this double vlog hopefully you don't mind that a few of them are double vlogs so yeah if you guys enjoyed this vlog then please give it a big thumbs up 
and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Please make sure to turn on the notifications and check out my social media. It's always linked down below in the description box. And if you've missed any of my previous Vlogmas videos, then I'll leave that playlist down below and in the eye as well, which will be on this side. I shall see you guys tomorrow for another vlog. Bye.